Hello everybody and welcome to a test video. This test video here is regarding, uh, well not this guy here, uh, but I'm gonna use it. I'm on PlayStation 5 today and yes, we can use unrealistic uh, machinery now uh, for doing test videos. Oh, you know, or just use it uh, in your farm. <laughs> This is so crazy, the uh, beat harvester by, you know, the from the Colossus pack. Uh, but, um, yeah, so this is about bee, uh, beehives, and uh, will it improve your yield? Um, the reason why I'm doing this test is also because I, I got a potato field now on my Let's Play on the uh, Tom Pemberton farm. Uh, but beehives doesn't work on all crop types, which I thought it would. Uh, but then um, I looked in the help window. So if you go all the way down here to help, you know, this is a menu that I usually just scroll by. But <laughs> if you go all the way down to animals and to bees, it says beehives produce honey, which can be processed further or sold directly. But then it says, place your beehives next to feed as the bees will increase the yield of canola, sunflower, and potato. So those are the only three which you will actually get an increasement on the yield. Honey will be delivered to the freely placeable delivery area. Um, so what I'm going to do now, uh, let's jump in here. Uh, luckily, you know, I just started a test map here on <laughs> on Elm Creek and I got all of these potato fields. Uh, you know, that that's randomly how the fields are being, you know, delivered to you when you start the map. Uh, so I bought this one and it's in pretty good shape actually. It's fully fertilized. It it doesn't have um, doesn't have uh, well I've turned off lime. I turned off uh, turned off uh, crop destruction. All all these things. But uh, this is going to be the start point. So I've saved the game now. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to. I'm gonna use this <laughs> crazy harvester. So now I don't have any beehives. So I'm gonna harvest this one. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, I'm gonna go into bees and I'm gonna use the in game one, the biggest in game. And I think these have, um, what should I say? Um, a range capacity of, is it 150 meters? I think so, these big ones there. So then, uh, for the second one, I'm going to place down four of these. You know, one in each corner, like so. And then we're going to see if we get uh, any increasement. And then, if, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm willing, <laughs> uh, I'm going to place down four of these small ones. Uh, these are the ones I have on the Pemberton farm right now. So, for the third test i'm gonna place down four of these and see if there are any difference there should be because you know these are only 500 bucks to to buy and these are 19,000. um but yeah <laughs> i'm also looking forward to trying this one you know i had not a hard time but um um i was struggling a little bit to find this header here this is the new Unreal header. Uh, so if you don't know, if you're struggling like me to find it, <laughs> you know, on the B technology, I went in here. Here you got the Colossus Root Harvester. Uh, and then usually what I do is press R3. Then you get all the, uh, you know, implements that will fit with this one. But I couldn't find the Unreal header for this one. So, where to find it? Well, you actually have to go into Potato Technology, and there you will find it. Potato Header Unrealistic. It's all about the speed, 75 kilometers an hour. And the same goes for B Technology. There you will find the unrealistic uh, B Header. Now, let's see Headers. Uh, yeah, the Titan header, Unreal, 70, 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, 
And this one with a trailer attached. Oh man. 70 kilometers an hour. <laughs> I know it's unrealistic, but you know, then I, I might do some more test videos on my PlayStation. And yeah, I got those crazy wheels. Uh, so, what I've also done, um, I, I've taken on the unrealistic, uh, what should I say, uh, capacity on this one. Let's see now, I wonder, uh, can we hire a worker with this one now? Let's see, let's line him up there. You know what, this should be my starting point. So I'm gonna save the game here. Yeah, that should be right, yeah. <laughs> there we go, save game, and then, bam. So now a worker is doing everything. And he's going at it, 40, 50 kilometers an hour. I'm gonna jump out. <laughs> wow. Can he do it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No props. It's it's probably yeah. So I'm I'm probably have to clean up the edges and so on. But yeah, okay. It it's it's not gonna get full. I think I don't think I need a separate. Uh, trailer. Well, he is struggling a little bit. You missed the potato there, buddy. Let's see what happens, sir. I think he's gonna crash straight into the tree, sir. The brakes are too bad. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh wow. All right, I'll uh, I'll uh, see you in a bit. So there we go, uh, XX minutes later, that went quick. <laughs> so if you look here, you can see everything is harvested. Um, but there is, you know, there is a strange thing going on on this field here. And it seems like there is a line in the middle here. But uh, uh, trust me, there's no potatoes in it. <laughs> It's just something glitching on the map, I think. Uh, so everything is harvested without any beehives. What did we get? We got 157,527. Oh, that's a difficult number. Uh, but anyway, so, so that was without any beehives at all. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quit the game. And I'm going to... Um, restart it at the same point and we're gonna place down some um, beehives yeah i've written down the number one five seven five two seven so we are back here again our field is uh, fully grown again <laughs> so now i'm gonna place down some uh, animals um some bee animals and uh, like i said i'm gonna do these yeah i know there are probably some um you know uh, differences here between placing one and placing a hundred uh but you know I i'm thinking uh one in each corner should be good enough Let's see if we can get it there. Bam. One, two, three, and four. 
There we go. Do I need to have a spawn point for pallets? Uh, do I really need that? I can always have it. I can place it. Can I place it all the way over here? I wonder how, you know, I, I just bought this. I started here on start, you know, farm manager and I placed down the sleeping tent here. <laughs> I had to do that because, uh, you know, it wasn't fully grown. Um, there we go. I'm not going to save the game now because I, I want it to be uh, fresh on the next test also. I'm going to turn on this one and bam, I'm going to hire a worker. As you probably saw in the quick fast movies, uh, he got into some trouble uh, on the turns. So I might have to do some um, end headlands for the worker. And especially on this side, he was struggling a little bit. So every time he came here, I just fired the worker and then I did the turn myself. Did you remember how much I got on the first line now? Uh, for the first cut? First harvest? I don't know. But anyway, I'll uh, see you, what, in like 18 to 20 minutes? Or 2 seconds, for your sake. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need to do some headland, sir. From here, maybe. Yeah. We got some result from the first test, well, second test, uh, with the big uh, beehives. And yeah, I gotta say, for a really high yield crop like potato, uh, I'm a little bit, <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. But anyway, uh, the results are in, and we got 160,486. So I, I had to go back to my high school mathematics to find out what the percentage was, but I figured it out. So the increasement was around 2,900 liter, and that's an increasement of 1.87%. That's nothing. 1.8, let's say 1.9. And you can see here now that the field is... Oh, I'm missing a part. Ooh, what? <gasps> no? No, everything is uh, harvested. So yeah, those lines there. But anyway, yeah, so 1.9% 1. <laughs> 1. increasement. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm uh, I have the time for it. I, I'm gonna place down uh, four of these ones, um, which are only 500 to buy. You know these ones are what were uh, 20,000 was it? No, I didn't take the big one. I take I took these guys. Oh okay. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. But anyway, uh, that's the normal size. But you know, they are um, uh, twelve thousand. So uh, you know, I spend what forty-five thousand on these. Um, I haven't got any uh, honey yet. But to sell the honey, I do recommend these guys here. Uh, I can't remember the name of the mod pack, but you know, it's with the old uh, vending machines and all these um, large selling points. And these will pay out pretty good for honey. Uh, let's see here now, if we scroll down to ooh, honey, honey, there we go. Uh, 2007, 2000, there we go, 4,200. And when we are into those, you will also see a pretty good increasement if you go into, there's a potato box. So if I place, yeah, I can just place it here now. I'm not going to save the game here. Bam. Uh, and we scroll into potatoes. You will also hopefully see a pretty decent price for those. Yeah, 800, 800, 900. And there we go, potato box, 1500. So that's uh, what, a 50% increasement just there. So yeah, of course, this these will give you 1.9%. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but if you get one of these guys, you will get more, you know, money for it. But uh, I'm gonna quit the game now, and I, uh, then we're gonna test out with those small beehives. Here we go, we are back here, and the potatoes are ready to harvest again. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm considering? I'm considering um, just to place down one. Just one of these. Would that give us the same? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna place down, bam, one of these ones. No pallet location. Okay. Um, didn't I place down? Oh, yeah, I didn't save it, of course. Bam. Okay, you happy? Uh, so yeah, one of these, uh, <laughs> $500, <laughs> I've only done uh, beehives uh, because of the honey so far, and looking at this with a really high yield, crop black -like potatoes, yeah, 1.9%. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest this one also. Fire the worker. So the worker is doing the straight lines, and I'm doing the turns <laughs> because it's taking too long to turn. <laughs> there we go, and I'll see you in two seconds. You all right? All right. Uh, we have harvested again, and now with. One five hundred dollar beehive. Uh, so we got some interesting results actually. Um, we got a little bit less potatoes, but um, uh, I've done some calculations and. <laughs> but anyway, with one small beehive, we got one hundred fifty eight thousand four hundred and forty one. So that's an increasement of 0.58%, which is not much, but here's the thing. If you would have placed four of these, you would got 2.32% increasement, is my understanding. And that's way much better than four of the medium size, which are 19,000. And these are $500. Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know yet, but I think so. So, yeah, these guys here. Um, let's see if they have produced any... I don't think so. No, nothing yet. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, that's at least my understanding. Um... Of course, I could have done some testing also on... What did I say? Um, oh, I've totally forgot it. It was potatoes, canola, and sunflower. So yeah, I could have done all these tests on all these trees, but that would have taken hours. <laughs> so yeah, it's beehives uh, actually pollinating and increasing your yield. Yeah, absolutely. Is it um, worth it? Well, for my testing, it's the in-game ones, the um, at least the one I tested, the uh, medium size, this guy here, which is 12,000. Gave me 1.87%. So if, you know, I regret it a little bit. Maybe I should have taken four of these. But one is giving me a half a percent. So two of these, uh, four of these, would have given me more than the big ones. If that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, this, this bad boy here, I'm definitely going to use. Uh, I have some potatoes soon ready to harvest on my Tom Pemberton farm. And I, I'm, I'm going to lease this one. Um, you know, it's I, I looked at the prices. They are around 18000 to lease. So, you know, if I would have sold these guys there, you know, I'm going to do that. Let's see. Just going to see if we can offload directly to the cell point there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So I did the calculation, uh, but uh, with this one here, I'm going to get around $237,000 for it. 
So leasing this machine for 18,000 is totally worth it. At least when you have, you know, a, this is a medium sized field, I would say. <laughs> Let's see, I need, I, I just have to see how much we get. And of course, when it comes to the beehives, there are many different modded beehives. There we go, 232,000. Okay, there we go. So yeah, potatoes are to totally worth it. And if you want to increase it with, you know, 0 0.5 or 1%, 1.9%, put down some beehives. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye bye. Up, 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 up. You know what? I couldn't leave it myself. I, ha I have to test it. Oh, what happened here? That suddenly got harvested. All right, that's strange. This has been the same start point, and the time is 0821. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, I, 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 I can't live with much. I can't go to bed. I know it's late, but <laughs> I need to do four of these and see if these are actually giving, um, you know, a half a percent each uh, or 2.32 percent in total. If I place down four of these. Oh man, it's really late. It's it's like midnight here now, and um, and yeah, I have to go to work pretty soon. Well, <laughs> in seven hours. Oh, do I need to have? Do I need to have uh, this again? Of course. Bam. Okay, there we go. Hire a worker. All right. Ah, oh, I'm gonna put on Bruce's gaming. So yeah, Bruce's gaming. Big shout out to him. Mr. Live, if you want to have daily uh, uh, live shows uh, with Farming Simulator 22, go and check out Bruce's Gaming. Every Monday to Friday, he is live streaming. All right. So we are here again, uh, and now the uh, test was with four of these uh, small ones, and the field is harvested, everything is good, and the results are in, and yes, we, uh, my understanding was more or less correct. Uh, so now we got 160,072 liters. So that's more or less the same as we got with the four medium one. Um, so with four of these small ones, you will get an increasement of 1.61%, which is more or less the same as um, uh, you know four with these ones. Uh, and these are a lot, you know, more expensive, 12,000 compared to 500. So yeah, if I, I'm gonna do any beehives along my potato, canola, or soybean field, I'm definitely gonna place down some of these uh, if I'm gonna do it. Um, so yeah, but that's that's the end of the test. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now I need to go to bed. Thanks again for watching and bye bye. <laughs> oh man. Mm -hmm.